You want to start a Shopify business but don't know where to start with designing your shop, finding the menus and everything else, this is why I'm here. Hi everybody, I'm Lydia and in today's video I'm going to share with you how you can start a Shopify business, design your website, find where everything is because it is kind of hard in the beginning when you have no experience and also design your website really nicely for your clients to browse through and be happy with it. So the first thing you need to do after choosing your plan or just starting your trial is finding a thing that you want to apply on your website. You will find that in your Shopify site, online store and themes. So you can browse through the free themes that Shopify has then you can choose one that you think would fit your brand, your niche the most. You can also purchase a theme from their shop or from any other shop that designs Shopify themes. You can check out some of my favorite ones below and you can upload that into your Shopify account right there from themes. Before starting to customize your theme, so basically the appearance of your website, I suggest adding two, at least two, three products so you can see later how would they look on your page. Because if you have no products, they will just show example products or just leave empty spaces. And when you design your website, when you customize it, you want to see how the products will look, how the categories will look and everything else. That is why before pressing customize, after adding your theme, you need to make a few little settings in the back end in Shopify so you could make sure that the design of your website would show up exactly as you want it and you would see it visually how it would look when you customize it so you don't have to do it twice. So you can go to products, add two, three products, descriptions, images, and to add them to collections, you need to add tags on them. So first, you might want to go and create collections. For example, if you are selling clothes, think about all the collections you would want to create. For example, pants, tops, dresses, whatever you want. Add them to collections and add a tag that with each product that you tag, will go it directly into that collection that I'm showing you on the screen right now. So after you've added collections, you need to go and edit your main menu. So to edit your main menu, you need to go to navigation. And there you'll be able to create your menu, add collections to the menu, so basically categories that your products will be in. So you can edit that and the main menu will look exactly as you want it. You can also add pages in the main menu. That is something you can customize as well. For adding a product, you need to add a title, a description, add photos, add the tag, add the price, check the little box if you want Shopify to track your inventory. You can add an SKU, you can add variations such as size, colors to each and every product. After you've done all these things, you can finally go to online store, customize and customize your Theme. Now, now proceed to show you how you can edit a theme in Shopify. So basically all the things you need to do in order to add more blocks to the page, to edit a slider and all those things. Things are pretty simple if you get a hang of it really easily. Shopify is a really easy to browse through platform, so it shouldn't be hard for you to edit. What you need to do first is edit the website name or add a logo if you want a logo instead of just the font, the simple font that the thing displays. So you can just upload that logo and add it there on the top of your page. When you upgrade to a paid plan, you will also be able to add an icon instead of the little Shopify bag because if you don't upgrade to a paid plan the Shopify icon will stay there and except for that you will have the extension .myshopify.com after your website so when you chose your domain that will be chosen there or you can have a domain already bought from a website and you can insert it in Shopify and not have that extension anymore if you've already purchased a domain before then keep in mind to edit social menus the blog the footer but for that you will need to just see what the theme has for you but except for the things that the theme already has in the home page for you to edit you can also add multiple things if you press that little plus there you'll have options like blog posts product feature collection feature product text and things like that so you can edit the Shopify page exactly as you want it also make sure to only upload really nice photography on your website this is what will attract viewers and make them be a lot more engaged with your content if the visual aspect of it is really nice. The Shopify apps that I absolutely recommend you have are the Instagram and Facebook sales channels that will help you not only connect your Instagram and Facebook to your Shopify page, but they will allow you to enable Instagram product tagging. If you want to know how to enable Instagram product tagging for a Shopify business, 
you can click the link below. I created a video especially for that because when enabling Instagram product tagging, shoppable posts on Instagram with Shopify, things are a little bit different than if you would with a normal WordPress website or any other website. I believe Shopify makes this a bit easier for some businesses that product tagging works because it is in an available region. So you can try that instead of doing the basic settings that I've shared in my first videos on product tagging. This right here is just a little snippet of how I would design a Shopify website from scratch for a brand new business. It really just depends on the theme that you choose for your website, but I'm gonna show you how a website that I would design would look. So if you're looking for somebody to design your Shopify website, add products for you on your website, enable Instagram product tagging, optimizing your website for SEO and so so much more, you can click the link below for my website design services. I'll be happy to work with you. Another really nice tip that I have for you is that if you want to design the exact pages you want that the theme doesn't offer, for example, for product categories or just for product pages, you can install a page builder on Shopify, something like PageFly. That app will allow you to design your Shopify product pages exactly the way you want it, add more information, and that would be a lot more visual engaging for your customers as well. Another really nice tip that I have is to add an Instagram feed at the bottom of your page. That is also an app that you can get from Shopify App Store and you can install that there for people to see what you're posting every week on Instagram. So that was all for today's video. This is my video in which I've showed you how to design a Shopify shop from scratch for a brand new business. I hope you enjoyed and you got something out of it that helped you design your website a little bit faster and a little bit better. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday, Friday and bonus personal development videos on Sundays. And if you want to be notified when I post a new video, press that notifications bell. Thank you so much for joining me today as well and I hope to see you in my next video.